This is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Ryan Salazar. Ryan Salazar here with Broadcast Beat Magazine. We have a special guest from TV Pro Gear, Andrew Maisner. How you doing, Andrew? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Doing very good, sir. So tell us about TV Pro Gear and how you guys got started. We started as a uh, system integration company in 1997. It was kind of by accident. We were selling equipment and people kept asking us to build things. Very cool. So what do you guys do? What do you guys sell? We build any kind of production system uh, from an entire television station to video trucks, satellite uplinks, uh, fly packs like what you see here behind me. This is a six camera, very high end fly pack. Oh, wow. And it's using Ross equipment with Panasonic cameras. Excellent. Uh, that facility that you're in right now, is that, that's your facility in Glendale, California, I assume? Yes, this is our TV technology center. It is a fully functional TV station. However, we just use it for uh, testing equipment under real world conditions. And we also use it for demos for clients and training. Tell us about the fly pack a little more in detail. Well, the fly packs that we build are used for shooting live events like sports and concerts and conferences. They come with anywhere from three to 10 cameras. They have uh, title generators, slow motion uh, devices, and um, streaming to the internet capability. So it is literally what, it, what, the, what the name entails at Flypack. It is the whole setup to go. It's a 40-foot truck in a box. <laughs> That's amazing. All, all of our fly packs um, are switchable to 110 or 220 volt, and they shoot in every frame rate and format and use worldwide. So they are universal, and I have clients that take them all over the world shooting events. In regards to uh, TV Pro Gear and, and your clients, I assume you've got a pretty wide range of, of, of folks that use you guys, probably churches and television stations, big networks, right? Yeah, on the high end, uh, ABC, NBC, Fox Sports, AT&T, Comcast, I can, Bloomberg, I can go on and on. Um, also do a lot of schools. We do uh, city council chambers, uh, you know, for streaming council meetings. It's really a variety. One of the more interesting ones we've done recently is for the U.S. Navy for their newest aircraft carrier, the Gerald Ford. We built the on-ship radio and TV stations station so the sailors can actually do, well, the officers can do mission statements to the crew. There's over 5,000 crew on an aircraft uh, carrier. The sailors have bands. They can do their own music videos. And they also use it for shooting uh what are called best practices videos. So if a sailor comes up with a better way to fix a pump or a turbine, he can show how it's done and then it's propagated to all the other ships that have the same piece of equipment. How does 4K impact live productions? Well, right now 4K is used pretty universally for episodic television, feature films, and um, scripted material like sitcoms. However, for live sports and concerts, it's not quite there yet because the large sensor cameras um, don't have the kind of accessories and lenses that are needed for sports production and live color correction and things like that. When 4K does roll out in a couple years, their material will have evergreen value. The systems for shooting sports using 4K or live events are really not fully implemented yet. Uh, it's coming soon. And Andrew, how can people learn more about TV Pro Gear? The best way to learn more about TV Pro Gear is to go to our website, which is oddly enough called tvprogear.com. <laughs> it's like TV, like a television, uh, pro like a professional, and gear like equipment. All right. Well, again, Andrew Maisner, thank you so much for spending some time with us here at Broadcast Beat. 